Who's the man who can go and teach you today about Science Day? Dr. Professor IQ. You're dang right. Who is the man who risked his neck for his brother, man, baby? Professor IQ. You're all right. He's a dang mother. Shut your mouth. I got my time. No, straight. Who is the man who would risk everything for his woman? Dr. Professor IQ. It's the show, Professor IQ. What are you doing here? Get out! Get out! Oh, I see what's going on. Oh, <laughs> sorry to scare you, little parent, but welcome to my laboratory, which is also my <clears throat> apartment, which is also in depth. But today, in today's segment, oh, I, pardon me, I, allow me to introduce myself. I am Professor IQ. And today, I I'm going to teach you about Noon's Three Laws. And today, who is going to help me today with my experiment and lesson shall be my two assistants, Tum Tum and Fun Fun. Here, my jolly yet very playful Tum Tum. No, no, not for you. Not for you. Fun Fun, Fun Fun, Fun For you. But for your fun part, you'll get this delicious yet, yet satisfying vitamin. There you go. You need it, by the way. Before I explain to you what Newton's first law is, for, let's see if other people know what it is. What do you know about Newton's first law of motion? <laughs> I don't know, what do you know about Newton's first law of motion? <laughs> Do you know anything about Newton's first law of motion? Good question. Do you know anything about Newton's first law of motion? Uh, yes. Yeah. Can you explain it to us? Which one is the first law? I don't know. What do you do? You know anything about Newton's first law of motion? Uh, the, the, oh, whatever in rest stays at rest, uh, whatever's in motion stays in motion. Oh, yeah! What do you know about Newton's first law of motion? Sorry? <laughs> what do you know about Newton's first law of motion? Oh, um, an object that stays, that is in motion stays in motion in a straight line. The first law of motion. Newton's first law of motion. First law of motion is like... Uh, wait, Newton's first law of motion? Everybody has... I forgot to react. Do you know Newton's first law of motion? Um, apple head head thingy? Something like that? Newton's first law of motion? Uh, it's when an object at rest stays at rest and when an object in motion stays in motion uh, unless it's acted on by uh, another... Rule number one, what's in motion stays in motion, what's rest stays at rest, unless acted upon by an outside force. Today, for the first step, we are going to throw a ball across this hallway, which leads to my landlady's door, so we're going to keep very quiet. But this is what explains the first step of Newton's Law. Come, fun fun, my little yellow friend. Come here, give me the ball, that's right. That's a good boy. Here, have another bag of money. <laughs> now, watch and learn. Notice how the ball is still in motion. But eventually the ball is going to have to stop by an outside force known as friction.
Also, what Newton said in this first law was, What is at rest stays in rest. What is. Uh, what are you doing? You're not of there. <laughs> Whatever, but as, as I was saying, What is at rest stays at rest. Just look at the little ball as it rests. Because the ball was set in motion, it would have continued to stay in motion and kept on going the same direction. But because of the outside force of friction, the ball was slowed down and eventually stopped. Let's find out if anyone knows what the second law is. What do you know about Newton's second law of motion? No clue. No clue? No. Okay. Uh, do you know anything about Newton's second law of motion? No, because I don't care about the second law. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> when it falls? I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, can you answer this question for me? What? No, no. I don't uh, can you. Okay, uh, just. Uh, <laughs> what's Newton's. Uh, do you know Newton's second law of motion? Second law of motion? Yeah. Is it like a big, a big thing and a tiny thing? If you give the same force to one big thing, it'll go for the same thing for the tiny thing? Uh. What do you know about Newton's second law of motion? Um, it's about... Okay, it's just like basically stating like if one object clashes with another, then the inertia uh -huh. of that one is gonna hit. So like, let's say you have like these two chips inside. Uh -huh. like, okay. Yeah, it's kind of like one object like hits another one, the inertia of this is kind of like that. Like, yeah. The second law, force equals mass times acceleration. In simpler terms, this is a heavy piece of mass. Back here, over here. There you go. Now, no matter how much, no matter how many, how much for force I apply, it, it doesn't move. On the other hand, this is a smaller amount of mass. Now, if I give him the same force as this heavy mass, this will apply. <laughs> a certain amount of force was asserted on the heavy mass, but the force applied to the object was not enough to achieve a decent acceleration. However, when the same amount of force is applied to an object with much smaller mass than that of the fridge, a greater acceleration will occur. And now to find out the third law. What is Newton's third law of motion? What's Newton's third law of motion? <laughs> Just, just, I swear to God, just let, let, let. It's a law that uh, that acts with motion. Some old guy made it up. For every, for every action, action. Do you know anything about Newton's third law of motion? Yeah. What is it? Uh, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In order to explain the third law, why don't we watch my assistant's fun fun and tum tum? Let's see that again in slow motion. Notice how when they bump into each other, they bounce off because of an equal and opposite reaction. WRONG! This is not Newton's third law. This is a mistake commonly used by other people. As you can see, he is trying to push the wall, but also the wall is pushing him. So that's why they are not moving. When one pushes the wall, this action is accompanied with an equal reaction. In this case, the amount of force that is applied to the wall, the wall is also applying the same amount of force on the person. Therefore, the two actions cancel each other out, and neither the wall or the person move. And that, my friends, ends today's segment.
of Newton's three laws. I'm afraid that's all the time we have today, children. I bid you adieu, afwa, adios, afidasain, shalom, goodbye, Professor IQ, out! <laughs> <laughs>